and we got production back up. Now, this one should split the ingots into two separate ways. We got a third one here. So we're going to add another part producer here. Uh, I guess I just need to get some more stuff here. Uh, I need iron beams and some gears. So we're going to do that. Oh, we got the part for the second part producer here. Let's uh, see if we can line it up somewhat. It's this one. I think it should be like that. And let's go into that one. And, uh, we should have... I think it was plates, right? Because this one is doing... No, that one is doing... Okay. This one should do rods. And let's drag the conveyor over to this one. Now the thing is... Oops. We could... Now, brush these two together, I believe. No, I think just the exit, because the gears uh, are used by iron rods. Um, so what do we do here? Let's remove some of the dirt. Because I want everything somewhat level here. Make it... Oh well, that's a gap. It's all good. Or not a gap, a hole. It's all good, it's all good. Now, what we could do here is... Add a splitter. You add another container. Drag the conveyor to that one, over to this one, that one, over to that one. Oh, not enough plates. Good thing we're actually making them here then, right? Uh, and I also guess we could, just for the fun of it, just uh, to max up production here now. That's out we need in. Let's add a second one there. Away from that one. Over to that one. Because I don't need to use that exit. Uh, we need one. That one. Over to that one. So now this one. Oh yeah, I shouldn't jump on stuff yet. Because I'm not sure if they fixed the glitches by jumping into the part producer. Kind of annoyed me. Now this one will just make plates. And put in the egg. Container here. This one right now are just making rods. Put them into this container. But I don't have the stuff for it yet. So I'm gonna go make some more gears. Uh, and we're gonna add another part producer. Now I'm just using single containers here because I'm gonna rebuild everything later on. What do we know exactly what we wanna do? Or we wanna have it. I'm back. I got the parts. Let's get another one of these guys running. Uh, earlier you couldn't add them too close, so I'm going to just keep it a bit of a space between them. This was an issue with the um, conveyor when it was too close. Might be solved now. Might try it out later. Let's go into this one and let's make gears. That one gonna go uh, you know what I can't see what I'm doing here so just in case we're gonna just remove some dirt here or oh, whatever well seems to be connecting at least oh. it's not gonna be anything it's gonna make you go crazy by design I'm kind of just hoping I can actually connect it to this one. And it seems like I could. Oh well, it's going halfway inside the part producer again. I don't care. We got gears for coming. Well, that's what I thought. New game. This is not a new issue. It happened before. 
Let's see if we can connect it again. And it disappeared. No, there it is. Just does some strange thing here. Oh well. Whatever. I don't care. We got gears coming in. Not going super quick right now, because we are sending quite a bunch of um, ingots into this one. We're sending ingots into this one to make plates, and we're sending ingots into that one to make rods, which are divided, sending some to the container and some to making gears. But you know what? It's all good, because this is free stuff. And whenever the container with rods are full, or the container with um, uh, ingots are full, well, he's going to start shipping even more stuff over to the part producer here. So it's going to even itself out. What you could do is find another uh, deposit, ship down even more iron if you want. I'm not going to bother, to be honest. But you might have a different idea of setting things up that will be more effective and I would happily read your ideas and even try them out if I find them interesting. Now what I could do as well is to add some more containers just actually take care of the stuff we have. Um, but let's do that. This iron plate, it's not going to be expensive. Um, yeah, I, I'm not really sure how to set it up right now, to be honest. Um, we got to use cement because my stupid idea is going to demand us to do that. Um, that dirt pile is a bit of a hassle, so maybe we should add it down here. We clean up everything later on. Uh, we need the part producer, I believe. No, we actually need just the forge, I believe. So let's add the forge here. Uh, let's see if we can um, get some conveyor running here. Over to that one. Let's add the recipe cement. This one will go down to this container. So we're going to get plenty of cement running. We also have this guy. I think you want to do some stuff as well. We need to check the power soon. Oh, we don't have enough cement. Oh, well, that sucks, doesn't it? How are we going to solve that? Oh, maybe by going in here. Get some. The beauty of automation always going to come in handy. So even doing rocks, which might be boring as heck, going to show to be vital. And this one, yeah, we're going to do silica. I don't think I used much of that, to be honest. But we're going to make everything. Um, I don't think I'm going to add a container to that one right now. Just let it be for now. Now we do need um, some iron plates. Because we got one guy up here as well we need to take care of. We're going to grab all of those. And we want to do a uh, splitter, but we need some uh, circuit boards. God damn it. So, what are we going to do here? We're going to add the forge to start with. Because we need to melt the copper into ingots. And from that, we want to split this into two parts as we did with the iron. We 
want. One container for um, ingots. Uh, and I kind of want to have this somewhat level. Probably not going to be easy to do. We want to have one later on. Or copper plates. I'm not sure if we can actually build that one right now. We need some... Uh... We can do it. Split. So I guess this one is going to be like that for now. And we're going to tidy this stuff up later. Let's add some plates. And drag that one over here. Now we got the iron, the copper, and the rock. Fully automated. We could add, uh, I believe, another step to the uh, copper. Um, if I'm not completely wrong, we could also add an assembling machine. But I think we're going to do that later. So what I need to do now is get our um, cobalt over there hooked up as well. And I believe we need to add um, a um, container and a um, part producer for the quartz as well to make silica. And uh, maybe even uh, get the glass running. So that's going to be the next step, I guess. Silica running here, and as always, we're going to do a splitter. We're going to add a hot producer. I'm going to add two containers. The pot producer is going to make glass pane. That one is hooked up. And we got one more left to do, and that's the uh, cobalt. Let's check the energy. Oh, we are. We need some more. God damn it! It's getting expensive. We got some plates there. Uh, I'm not sure if the forge can actually do anything with the quartz. I cannot. You know what? I really want to have a bunch of plates here now. Because that's a long way to run. I hate running. They, here's our cobalt. All the way from the other side there. Into the storage container here. So nice. So nice. Everything close by. When you drag through the terrain, uh, you don't have to worry about digging out. It actually automatically do it. I, I really like that. It's so nice to actually see that happening. It makes everything so much easier. So, um, whoops. 
We got copper, copper ingots going into the producer, giving us plates. We got cobalt coming over from here into the container, so we can use later on. We got six windmills to actually keep this up. We got a rock deposit here, making cement. We got our iron over there. Doing uh, copper ingots, copper plates, copper rods. Yeah, no, not copper, iron ingots, iron plates, iron rods and gears. Now, one thing that is missing is um, iron beams. That's going to be flaters. We just want to set everything up now so we have everything running. At least the basic stuff. Um, we got silica for glass. We got glass planes coming in. We're going to be able to build whatever we want to here. Um, well, the thing is, the containers need to stack up. Iron rods is pretty much full now. When that happens, our place is going to get quickly produced. Iron gear is also going to get produced a lot quicker. So yeah, it might be slow in the beginning. Or after a few, maybe an hour of playing. Yeah, everything should be up and running for you. Now, I think there's a wave coming in here. Um, I'm not going to be bothered about that. Normally, maybe you don't want to do this. You actually just want to do, like, get into your technology as quick as possible so you can get the large solar panels right away. Um, but I'm just doing things a bit different, this one. Uh, we did all that stuff in the last season or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I wanted to change it up a bit. Um, the only thing missing is adding a refinery to the cobalt there. I forgot about that one. Uh, I also went over to this cave, and yes, it was a sulfur cave. I didn't bother to record that because, well, you know the drill. Also been, like, just trying out some stuff. I got some ideas for the future. So, I kind of moved the base up a notch. Just to get it on a bit higher ground. But what we're going to do today is, normally, you would progress the game... And start making batteries so you could actually get your ship running and travel to that island. But you know what? Flying is fucking dangerous. So we're not gonna do that. So what we instead are gonna do is make a fucking land bridge. We're gonna bridge ourselves all the way over there. And you might be wondering, just why, Ted? Why don't you play the game as supposed to? And my reply is, why would I? It's gonna be a long frigging run. But, hey, we're testing out the game. We want to see what we can actually do here. And, whoa, this is kind of testing. Uh, I'm not sure what happened here. Uh, let's remove that one. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can't build any further. Oh, would suck. But we can build here. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I have no idea.
Yeah. Our own bridge. All the way back <clears throat> to our main base. It was such a stupid idea. But I love it. Completely pointless. A waste of time. Good for nothing. But it's there. It's ours. It's our goddamn bridge. Now while we're here, I guess we can let's see if we can find some of that sweet, sweet material. Let's grab some sulfur ore as we're here as well. Um, there we got it. Uranium. High capacity battery. Nice. Need more though. Damn. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, we got some sulfur. We got some um, uranium. 13 of them. I don't think that's going to be enough. I really can't remember how much we needed. But I'm going to run home. Then we're actually going to progress the game. But a mission one accomplished. It would be fun to see how, how we can actually run. What I was kind of hoping on is to actually be able to build a ramp so we can take our vehicle whenever we get that and just drive over. But um, I guess that's going to be for later. So I see you on the other side, guys. Oh, well, guys, we're back home. I'm going to try to work out that little glitch over there. I, I thought it was like maybe we reached some kind of limit, but it seems doesn't seem like that was the issue. Something else. So we got a couple of things to do. We need to build the water pump. We also need to make the um, refinery. So I think we're going to start with that one. Just to get the uh, stuff running here. And then we can continue with the terraformation. We also want the radar so we can actually see if there's any other deposits out there. <clears throat> I was kind of hoping for sulfur and uranium. Uh, that they would add that. Uh, and also we want big solar panels kind of quickly. So... Um, we don't have to remove the stuff we got now, because that is a bit annoying. Let's see, uh, what do we need? We're gonna do a refiner first. So let's make a rotor and filter. It should be in here. We need cables and rubber belts. Okay. And we got all the stuff coming over here, so I guess we need to remove this part. Okay, I think that will do. So let's get the refiner. Input output. Uh, actually, we shouldn't do that. We should make a splitter, I believe. Or should we? Do we need to save any? You know what? We're just going to keep that container for now. It, it should be full already, so that's all good. Uh, let's do a splitter first. We need circuit boards. I'd rather just make sure we got everything we need instead of messing up later. Got the convoy belt there. It seems they fixed the belts as well. It's working a lot better now. Well, at least that's what I'm hoping. So let's get the refiner. And we should be able to refine cobalt. And basalt concrete. Oh, we haven't found basalt. Oh, that's something new. Much, much interesting. We definitely need that. We definitely need... Oh, we need some water to this one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Not an issue. We're going to drop the pump. We've got everything running there. We do want to add a, a single container here for now. All of this stuff is going to be... Tweaked upon, moved, and changed around a bit. Because this is not how stuff is going to look when we're done here. Uh, we're just setting up things up to see what we can actually do in this game. Or the prologue. Then we're going to take it from there. So, to make the... Oh, come on. Didn't mean to do that. To make the water pump... Uh, need another two rotors, okay. 
Now the pipes and shit, it's gonna it's gonna look real bad now to be honest to start with. Don't mind that. As I said, we're just setting things up. Now we can do the water pipe. So let's grab that one. Uh, should maybe add the pipe up first. It's gonna be needed. Trust me. If you haven't seen the last attempt we did on this game. Uh, I can swear to you that you definitely want to have one of those. Okay, that kind of looks like a massive dumpster fire, exactly the way I like it. So we can do the tree greenhouse, yeah, and, and uh, we're not going to have it here, but we're going to put it there for now. So we need glass panes, and we needed some uh, cement and uh, organics. Organics we have there, that's not a problem. Did we have more cement? I just want to empty the lockers here. Yeah, let's grab that. So we need glass pane and organics. And I would assume we actually have full container of glass panes. That's silica. Oh. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Sometimes it's glitching a bit when you're looking at the container. I'm not sure why it does that. This one is the other container. So there are some minor issues, but it's all good. We can work around that. And yes, if you're wondering about this, it's a bit of a measurement I was doing. Uh, I'll let you know in the secret. Just don't tell anyone. I guess you can guess the rest. And that's what's going to happen here in the future. It is the prologue. It's not a demo version anymore. So we're definitely going to do some wild and crazy shit here. Let's just grab this. Let's build a greenhouse. And yes, I'm going back and forth very quickly now. I'm sorry about that. I'm just trying to speed shit up right now. So this one should have an exit and we should have a water pipe we got the water pipe there we got the exit there i think we're just gonna oh this is gonna be shabby this is gonna be real shabby i would like to have it the other way around okay it is what it is um let's just do it like that for now you need to get some pipes running here. That's why you wanted this little guy. Okay, so it actually wants 150 liters. Uh, okay, I think the greenhouse. Yeah, maybe the greenhouse was the one that I wanted. And one by itself. So I guess we need two more rotors then. Um. No, I did share one water pump earlier, and I built another one that was publicity for Okay, we need another uh, rubber belt That would be two rubbers, we can do four That is not gonna be an issue either in a few We've got food pot, which is kind of nice, I guess we can't give us 20. This just gives us 30. It's going to cost us quarter as well. So I'm not sure if it's actually worth it. Maybe they should just nerf this one a bit. And make this a bit better. Or keep it as it is and make this like plus 50. 30 is, yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth it. But if you want to automize everything, yeah, sure. It might be. I'm just rambling as usual. You know me. Nothing new. Okay, uh, so we wanted to make another pump. Let's do that.
I would actually enjoy to um, uh, get our shit running here. Kind of quickly before. That was close to water, wasn't it? Close enough. Okay, so let's remove this one. Let's add another one there. That one goes in there. So, one thing I'm wondering about. There's no in and out. So maybe. You know what? We need to try this. Remove that one. Let's grab that one. Extend that one again. Put it back in. That's going to give us a negative 50. Let's add one there. I'm going to tear everything down here anyways. It doesn't matter. And that gives us 200. Providing fifth. Okay. So yeah, I guess we are losing a bit on it. Might not be worth it. Um, I'm quite sure there was a, another thing that wanted water. So you definitely want to provide those two things at the refinery and the other thing with one pump and use one exclusive for the greenhouse. Um, well, that's another stupid episode done. If you can um, do stupid shit, you definitely should. Eden Crafters, Ocean World. We just made a land bridge. So uh, why waste time to research batteries when you can just waste three times the amount of time creating a bridge? Regardless, we did it. Mission accomplished. Now I do have some tidy up to do there because we did meet some hiccups on the way. But it is what it is. It's all good in the end. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you have any tips, hints or questions, just drop it in the comments. And if you have not yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, you guys take really good care of yourself. Bye-bye.